the shoulder piece by piece. It can be a plant pot without holes inside. Plant pot needs holes deep, okay? So, fine. The finished stuff, people, you check what I'm saying? Today we'll be doing some um we'll be doing a plant pot tutorial or a DIY DIY pottery. Try cut out a template here now. Check what I said. So I just do. I just get a piece of sheet metal, catch on whatever design um, of pot you want to make. So I just have something in my mind, so I just make a little sketch. Yeah guys, so you can take a measurement of how high you want a pot to be. The height for the pot. So I can make my pot like about 9 inches. I don't want it too high. 9 inches. And then. So the template finished sketching out there. Get it cut out now. This is the um, template now. You okay, guys, here it is. Eh? We can take a file now and make it here smooth. File now. File now the rough area, you know. You will template a little smoother. So when the pot finish making, the pot will be smooth and nice. The more, the more smooth in here be, the more um, smooth your plant pot will be when you finish making it. And this is the wheel. Right? So the wheel is basically a car wheel. Well done on a pipe. Well done on, on a three-inch pipe. This in here for a very long time, eh? <laughs> so I just try to demonstrate to you guys, you know. We call the shoulder. So the shoulder to play two by four come together. And we lock them off with three screws. So what I just do, I just uh, put a little bit higher. Nothing going easy. So I don't have this here, sir. This is easy to build, man. This is straightforward. Just want some metal pipe, and that's it. And guys, a hole also in this area. This is a of a hole. This it could come out because a hole in the two by four. You see, a hole in here. So you could check out the pipe, put it in when you're ready. A safe thing down here. A hole in here. Okay, sir. You see a hole? No, no hole. Too. This part here now gonna be coming in here. Yeah, guys, these don't make these. Don't, I build this a very long time, you know. But I'm just giving you guys a little demonstration so you could build one yourself whenever you're ready. So we um then just shove in this here, sir. Now in here. And that's it. Here we get we shoulder. You see? So here we have we shoulder and we have we wheel. Check guys. If you want to see more videos like this, because trust me, we have a lot lot more video like this coming here. How to make concrete plant pots and a whole different variety of concrete plant pots. Antique concrete plant pots. Right guys? So if you want to see more stuff like this, go ahead right now and subscribe. Yeah guys, so we have the template here. I'm going to install the template in the shoulder. Maybe this is the shoulder. You see? So what I'm going to do is take my template and I'm going to just put it inside. Bolt and nut. You check people. So I'm going to just tighten this here up now. Yeah guys, so that's, that's the, the answer to check what I said. We got the shoulder here, the shoulder. And can I believe this is just fasten in the heart with some concrete, you know? Just dig a hole, put some concrete, you know what I'm saying? And fasten the shoulder. So guys, I put some, some bags on it here. This is to avoid the excess um, clay and then fall, fall on the ground. So guys, you see whatever clay falls down here, I'll take it up with the bags 
I get it back in the pile. The pile, we call it a pallet. The pallet on the wheel, remember the wheel, eh? Carry we spin in there, check what I said, carry well damp on the pipe. As I explained earlier. You check how we get a pallet here now. Put the pallet, tap the wheel, it's to compact the clean side. Alright? So this is the clean now, you know? This is basically, you, you can say, 50% sun and 50% clay. Right? Because it's a molding. Because it's a molding. This material here is going to be inside of the pot. Load up. You check people. That is the ram here. And just compact now. Compacting. You need to move post. So this is a compact and stored gain. You know. People. You just get off. You see now? Get this off now. Ah. So we have a mole in here. Compact. Mole in here. People, are we sure? With the template. We just spin now. Check us in people. Spin it now. Put it down a little bit. Put down, put down, put down, put down, put down. And then. Show them a shoulder piece by piece. Yes, people, see, guys, see how the, um, the molding start to take the shape, start to take the shape of the template now. See, guys, the molding taking the shape of the template. The guys, members, guys, members say that when the part finish now, it's obvious the part would have the shape of this, the, uh, the template. People, yeah, guys, see here we have it now. This is our finish molding. People, molding finishing now. So it's just to get the cement on top of the um on top of the molding. The matter. So we're gonna mix the matter now. So guys, if you notice down here, I have a little space between here. This space down here is gonna be the, gonna be the thickness of the pot. Like I remember that the shoulder could go in and out there. So you so you just out whatever thickness you want your pot to be. It does you know what I mean? I just never use that little half inch. So we just take off the excess. Take off the excess clay that we don't want. Take it off of the pallet. And boom, we have our mold in here. You know what I'm do? You can have it, yeah? This container down here is about a pong. A pong container, have it, yeah? Or a bit of a pong container. So I just do, I put one part cement, two parts sand. Right? Just keep it in mind all the time. Putting one part cement. Part sun. See you know? And just mix it. Check. Continue to focus again. Focus this again. Put in four parts cement now. Two. Three. Four. Four parts cement. Maybe two parts. Sorry, four parts sun. And two parts cement. You see? Well, I'm just mixing now. I say you have a bowl on here to throw on the um the matter container and just take the matter hand take the matter hand from the pot see guys yeah man cover up the top simple man so we template over here doing everything Okay, the pot taking the shape already. Okay, now. Take our cement. The flower shape check for some people. You think it's more smooth? And after, you can dry it too. Load, load the cement to dry. So, you can pot to make more fast, you know? Yourself, people, do it yourself. The pattern taking the shape already now. Start taking the shape already. The shape of the template that we make earlier. Next process, what we're going to do now is called slicking. Okay, people. So, actually, we finish using the, the marker right now. The marker bucket over there. 
page with the mall, no? See, the part of the shape already. The part of the shape already there. Alright, it's just gonna get slick now. So guys, slick is getting slick. It's basically cement and water mix. So you mix the cement and water. You give it the final touch, you take finish. So I can go right now and mix my slick. Sifter here, this is my sifter. Now it's now. The cement just consists of small bits of um, Smart things mean the cement sometimes, you know? I want you, you want the cement as thin as possible. Any lumps, any lumps at all in the slick, I'm gonna um, put an impression on the pot. This is the slick here we're doing now, right? We're doing the slick, cement and water. So, guys, you want, you, you want the slick too thin, neither. You want the slick too thick. See? There you want it. Hold it again. Polish it down nice because um, you want to dry it nice, you know, before you put on your final coat, which is the slick. The slick now. Final touch. Yeah, people look at that. Look at that. Look at that. I have to give the final touch now. See good? Yeah. 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 Smooth and beautiful. So guys, what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna get it clean up. Take off, take off this excess excess cement there. And from the top also. And both the bowls inside because remember sir, it can't be a plant pot without holes inside. Plant pot needs holes people, you check? So, guys, this is the finished stuff down here. But finished slick now. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. See, finish, guys, when you finish, you just push side the shoulder. You check? So you can do your, your stuff down here. And clean up your template, you know? Guys, you want to keep your template nice and clean. So you can use it back again when you're ready. Take off the top now, people. You have my shovel here, a nice small shovel. Cut the top. Mm -hmm, people, you see? Yeah, guys, the back of your pot finish. And guys, remember, say, right, the pot is upside down. The dung is the base, this is the top. Right? Because remember, so we can't spin it that way. So when the pot spins, it'll be spinning upside down. The dung is the base, this is the top of the pot. Amen. So that will be cutting, cutting on it here now to get to the cement from the bottom. So you just keep your hands still. Eh? Keep it, make your hands tremble. Keep your hands still. Cutting the bottom now. Guys, make sure you maintain the stillness, eh? Keep your hands well stable because we want to miss them out, eh? Remember, that's the beauty of the pot. So what we do now? We go in now. And just take out all the excess matter there. All the unwanted stuff. Okay. Ah, yes. Let's just show cut the scene here now. That we're going to do now, guys, we smooth up the bottom of the pot now. You see, we smooth it up. You guys, guys remember, say when the pot up turn now, this is going to be the top, right? So we just take the shovel now and make it there well smooth. Check what I'm saying, people. Smooth and nice, people, yeah? Okay, people, what I'm going to do now is get some oats bore inside. So just, normally, I'll put some oats to the side sometime so you guys could decide what you want to do. You put some oats to the side. I put two to the side. What I mean, guys, if you want to put all to the side, you can put it on the bottom only. But what I does is put the all to the sides. The pipe, you see, I have a piece of pipe here. And one to the top. Remember, remember they did the bottom there anyway. This means the bottom of the pot. The bottom of the pot. So, guys, so we have 
two holes here, one hole there, one hole there, one to the bottom. So guys, did the finish stuff down here. So um, I'm gonna leave this now on the wheel. Right guys, they drive to 24 hours. Right people? So in 24 hours guys, we'll be back and I will get it the part finished for you. Yeah guys, so um so guys the 24 hours gone, check for some people, so the part kind of dry now, you know what I mean? So what we're gonna do now, we're gonna take it off the wheel now and get it dig out. So yesterday we make it and today 24 hours after we take it off the wheel. Ah, one here, mm -hmm. Yeah people, you see? Inside it. So this way, they got you see it now. So they can show you. Get the okay. Yeah, guys. People. And why does do it? Okay. So we have some some cement here. See guys, some cement. We had a little bit of water. We're making some slick, right? To polish the pot. A little bit. You guys, the window now. It's hard to polish it now. You guys, it's making the side nice and smooth. You know what I mean? I mean, guys, I mean, it's dark going inside, right? So, <laughs> if you guys um, decide to don't polish yours, that's no problem, you know, because dirt can be inside. I like I like my stuff perfect people in check. So and even on top the edges here. Turn it so stick to you know. Yeah guys, so finish here now. Contact nice and smooth. See guys, edge nice and smooth, so the edge smooth. See how you hold them, you want to see my stuff in there, you know people. So guys, you can be finished pat here now. Here. So what happened here now people? I can leave this down here now for maybe an extra 4 hours. The more long the arm but left the cure is the more great it would get. People? So this so guys this down here is a finished product. But it, but it's the natural color. You know? This is the natural color of the pot. Which is people, flat paint, you know? It's flat paint. So guys, I mean if you want to use the pot just like that, see inside, so it looks nice and smooth. It's nice and smooth again. Okay? So the pot comes really nice people, really nice, you know? Yeah. So guys, if you want to go ahead and use the pot just like, without no paint is you guys, eh? but I like to paint my stuff before I put it in my plant. Yeah. Right, so I, I use some white paint here. Yeah. 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 yeah guys, so this here is the finished stuff people that check what I say. Make it open decent. Guys, guys, if you love videos like this, my right, people, um, please go ahead and subscribe to my channel. So because this channel does videos like, make videos like this. You know, how to make concrete flower pots, my people, and a whole lot more. So guys, thank you guys for watching.